All right, it is uh, Friday morning. I'm heading to where I work as an art director and uh, I'm recording one of my vloggings. Um, I know, it makes me a unique, amazing individual being a guy in his 40s recording a vlog, uh, you know, in his car on his way to work. <laughs> I think that might be something of my generation and some bit of, a, a bit of a cliche at this point, but still, um, Hey, it's a time for me to make content, so I'm gonna make content um, on my way to work. So, um, right onto State Route 14 South. that's Waze. You'll hear that occasionally, just giving me uh, directions um, uh, on my way to work. So, she's gonna interrupt us a little bit, but that's okay. So, uh, I have, um, <clears throat> following up on the health stuff, um, I have uh, ultrasound um, for like my gut, I guess. Um, all right, check out what's going on with my gallbladder. Uh, scheduled for the 8th. And then uh, I have started... Go straight on for 35 minutes to I-5 South toward Los Angeles. Nice. I've started uh, thumbnailing and, uh, and like page 21 for the comic. And tonight I'm really hoping to get some thumbnails and roughs done. Um, and then this weekend, outside of my signing... Uh, on Saturday, I have to do a really quick book signing uh, from 1 to 5 uh, at Barnes & Noble. Um, so if you're in the area of like Palmdale um, around that time, uh, come get a book, a uh, copy of Jacob's Apartment, um, get it signed, have me draw in it, and, uh, and we'll see how it goes. I have never done a signing at like a legit bookstore. Most of my signings have been at uh, conventions, or at, um, I've done it in stores, at comic book shops, but I've never actually done a signing in a book bookstore. And uh, signings are always interesting. Store, store signings, I think, are super fun, but it's always a mixed bag. Um, it, it'll be interesting to see how it goes at like a big box chain bookstore. Um, and again, during COVID, uh, doing in stores and stuff like that is always a gamble because it's like I don't even know if people are going to these things. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to kind of see. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited to kind of move some books and uh, hopefully meet some fans. And then aside from that, meet some friends and family because uh, this is like the first signing since the release of the book. And um, and then I'm actually doing a, a appearance on Comic Book Club on. Tuesday, and so that'll be really interesting and cool to see. Um, but uh, but yeah, like I, I'm supposed to do an interview about uh, Jacob's apartment on there, and so hopefully I'll be on point and uh, be able to kind of talk about the work and be compelling and on point. Um, but yeah, so those are the things that I have kind of coming up. My hope is to try to schedule and arrange. A signing for every um, every month and then like hopefully do an interview for some kind of media um, once a month uh, I think that's as best as I can kind of handle on top of the schedule for not death but love um, but it is funny like doing historical fiction I find myself like imagining you know, Victorian England, and then, like, really getting into pages, um, and one of the hard things, I discussed this a bit on stream last night, but one of the difficult things about juggling, uh, being a writer and, um, an artist, uh, and, and then working on your own creative vision, and then kind of going to a J job, like one of the hard struggles that I find. And again, like I really like my day job. It's a creative uh, in-house job and I really appreciate it. And I do feel like it's it's been beneficial to do. Um, but one of the tough parts about it is like, man, um, you get really in the zone and start getting kind of lost in imagination and or like you know, with thumbnails and roughs, it's really important to, like, have some moments to just kind of loosen up. Once you're kind of in the zone, you're in the zone, and you can just knock out, um, art. Uh, and you guys can probably see that on the stream, where 
there's like a zone I'll get into where I'm just like knocking stuff out. Um, and then it, you have to kind of break that and go back to the creative stuff for pay. Um, which again, it's like almost easier to get in the zone because you're just kind of on like a crazy deadline and you just do what you can do and do the best you can do and knock it out. Um, but, uh, but it's a hard day. It, like, I don't know, for me, the task switching penalty is a little heavy. And so it's kind of, um, like, it's an interesting thing this morning coming from like last night up until two in the morning, I was working on this really creative project where I'm having to kind of get lost in Victorian England and my imagination starts heading there and I'm thinking about Mr. Barrett, you know, in the room, uh, like he, he's just like, I know where he needs to go. And it's like, I have Mr. Barrett and he's, uh, he's at his desk and, um, and, uh, Annabelle, who we found, we found Annabelle. And I, I actually want to throw out there, uh, thank you to Dee Dee for, uh, for finding Annabelle. Like what's funny is like right after the live stream, like the first thing this morning, she sent the actual image that we had wound up finding, um, that I found out that actually my sister had sent. I had forgotten, but I had asked when I was reading over that part of the script, I was like, Hey, do you happen to have, uh, some pictures of Annabelle? So, um, she did, and that was awesome, but it's like, it's one, it's definitely one of those things where, um, where, uh, so Elizabeth's sister, Annabelle, is like at the outside of the door, you know, Mr. Barrett is like reading, uh, you know, his, his, his letter from his daughter that's saying, Hey, we eloped, please forgive me. And, uh, and it's a tense moment to like have to leave a page and then be like, ah, I gotta go to work. So now I have to go to work and work on a big presentation for a giant client that I cannot disclose because I, I try not to talk about my day job too much on these streams, but it's a big client, like a client that, uh, that, you know, is, is one of the S and P 500 kind of clients. Um, and, uh, and for that, you know, I have to do like a massive presentation, um, that's due Tuesday. And I, it's like that task switching thing is really difficult. Um, I kind of enjoy the challenge of it. But it is funny, like, I don't know, if you guys have trouble sort of clearing your head from your day job to like your creative work, um, just sort of doing that bounce back and forth. It's an interesting struggle, but it's like, I I will say this is one of the fun things about working on creative work is the whole time I'm at work today, I'm just gonna be so eager and excited to get back to this page. Um, I wanna see these roughs pan out I want to make this page a reality. Um, I want to see, like, I want to help Mr. Barrett, the kind of villainous father figure, get to that hallway so that he can rip down that portrait of Elizabeth. Um, I really want to get there. And, uh, and yeah, so that's what I'm going to do tonight. Um, you know, but, but it's going to be interesting to kind of see how it plays out and, um, Hopefully we, we do kind of get there. Uh, let's see here. It's just an interesting juggle to me, um, trying to kind of get, you get lost in the zone and then you have to kind of break it when you're in that flow state. Ah, frustrating, but, uh, but doable and uh, feasible and um, I'm excited. And I think this is gonna be um, a pretty good book. And so far I've been really pleased with West Margin. Um, and I have a three day weekend, which is the 4th of July, where we celebrate America. And uh, what I might be doing is one of the most, as, as was mentioned on the stream, uh, it's one of the most American things on the planet is comic books. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's like one of the art forms that was invented, uh, 
technically, from what I remember of, I didn't want to chime in on this. I, I have a tendency sometimes when we have a guest on Artcasters to kind of interrupt them and guide them into territories that I think are really interesting about what they said. But this would have been a, like a total tangent. <clears throat> but I did hold back uh, during Artcasters um, while we were having our guest on who was talking about comics are as American an art form as anything, which is true. It is a very unique uh, art form. It, like actually comics and animation more so. <clears throat> but comic books could it arguably are a very American thing. However, I think from some of the history that uh, Chris Ware has published um, and some of the books that he's published where he's talked about the history of comics, I think him and Spiegelman discovered this uh, French cartoonist who sort of invented comics, like at least in the modern form uh that, that we see today, like the first like kind of political cartoons, I guess, were like this guy in France. Um, and then I think there was like this uh, kind of practice at the time where they were like doing like snapshots of like leisurely life. And it was like this weird kind of French cartoonist. So technically, uh, comics um, may not be the like strictly American art form we like to think it is but I will say the comic book like the pulp the comic book um, detective fiction like a lot of that kind of stuff is very unique to um, to uh, the United States and as we're getting towards the 4th of July as much as like there's weird stuff and I'm not super uh, happy with some of the things happening in our country um particularly, any, I don't want to get into politics. Um, <clears throat> I should at some point, but it's just so heavy, some of the things um, uh, that are occurring in our country right now um, that have nothing to do with the president, um, but a different legislative branch uh, that are just kind of disturbing um, occurring. Uh, that it can get kind of downtrodden and stuff like that. But still, I got a grandpa who served in World War II, um, and uh, I got some veterans in the family. I, I got an uncle who uh, served and uh, was military and stuff like that. So, and then I got a brother, an older brother, who was, you know, a police officer. So it's like, I, I definitely have people in my life who have served their community and country and uh, I do get proud of, of the good things of the US um, and so like I do think as we head towards the 4th of July um, and and you know towards a comic book signing um, at you know Barnes and Noble on a three day weekend that might be a benefit for the signing or it might not be because there might be a lot of people who are local that might have shown up but also are instead heading on vacation because it's a three-day weekend so we'll see if that's a I'll, I'll let you guys know um how that goes whether it's a win or a loss who knows um but anyhow point being it's going to be an interesting experience it's going to be a fun experience and I do need to remember to celebrate uh, comic books. Like, it was nice having that guest on because I did... Sometimes I will look at, like, European comics and get a little jealous. Um, particularly European cartoonists. Um, which, honestly, are, are incredible artists. But it's like, I'll look at their lives and be like, Oh my gosh, like, I, it sucks we live in an era area where, like, you have to, like, fight tooth and nail to get a market for, like, literary comics when you look at, like, European comics that are, uh, especially French uh, comics that are just, like, knocking shit out of the park. Like, they're already, like, they have a market. They make the best sellers list quite often. Um, they have, like, government support for cartoonists. I'll look at that and feel like, oh, man, my country is not so great for at least my industry. But then, on the on the upside, you know, I also 
have to say, like, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm just saying, it's pretty cool that, uh, that there are, um, comics that are unique to the U.S. and that this is a very United States medium. And that makes me a little more proud of kind of being a cartoonist, working in this thing. And also that the history of comics kind of started in the slums. So me kind of being down there in the indies is kind of a way to shake it up and kind of keep American. <laughs> Anyhow, whatever. Um, I'm excited. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, if you guys haven't yet, pick up Jacob's Apartment. Pick up Two Stories. Uh, my two graphic novels that are currently out uh, that explore questions of faith, identity, and uh, mental health, as well as mortality. And so these are like heavy topics that I like writing about. And yeah, that's basically going to do it. This is going to be a, a shorter vlog. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what's on my mind and uh, what I'm currently doing. And I hope you guys are having a good creative day. And um, I will see you on the next live stream or maybe uh, tomorrow uh, at my signing. So I'll try to do a vlog for that as well. Um, and then we'll, we'll just kind of see where things go. All right. Bye.